during our hike back down from, where's this place called? From Turnbull Canyon in Whittier. Whittier, California. Whittier, California. I'm going to be asking Miss JP some questions on ways that help you during your hike, like breathing exercises, what's the best way to like if you run up and whatnot. So just keep watching. So what are some good breathing exercises for when you're going hiking? Okay, so he's asking about breathing exercises. Um, you always want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, um, especially if you're at an incline. Um, and that tip is also good for any other cardio that you're doing. Always, You always want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, if you're breathing in through your mouth and out through your nose, it just becomes a little, your breathing comes a little more heavier. And also, if you're outside doing cardio, um, all that um, air and smog gets into your throat and you can start coughing. So you always just want to make sure that you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right. So for you personally, when you're hiking, do you like running, jogging, or walking? Um, personally, for me, I always like to get a good cardio session in and I like to feel the burn and the sweat. So I try to jog and or run as much as I can. Um, also, if I'm going hiking in the morning, I try to do what's called fasted cardio. Um, fasted cardio is when you wake up in the morning and you have an empty stomach, so you haven't eaten any breakfast or anything. Um, that also helps you burn fat. So what I do is I'll jog for 30 seconds and then sprint my fastest another 30 seconds, whether that's incline or at a regular um, level. So that's just me personally. But yeah, if you want to get some um, a good fat burning session and you want to do a fasted cardio, which is um, any kind of high intensity cardio training in the morning um, without having eaten anything yet. Yes, like what things are good to bring during a hike? Such as water, snacks, utensils, and whatnot. <laughs> utensils? Well, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> like tools. Oh, like tools. equipment. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, good things to bring on a hike? Well, I normally don't bring my speaker, but because I came with my friends today, I brought my speaker. Coworkers. Um, coworkers and friends he's my friend but um if you're if you're by yourself definitely you want to bring like a stick i bring my car key to have a pepper spray water bottle for sure maybe a towel if you sweat a lot a hat if it's sunny it's not that sunny today so i didn't bring a hat sunscreen if it's also sunny it's not sunny today but i also put sunscreen before i left the house um and your phone maybe just in case something happens you may not always get service or reception but if you want to take pictures stuff like that or vlog or vlog if you want to vlog this if you want to vlog all right so when it comes to drinking wise do you recommend water juice gatorade kool-aid alcohol Tennessee, <laughs> you know hard liquor or beer um i don't recommend any alcohol whatsoever i do recommend water um and or gatorade or um any other um energy drink well not energy drink but Something that's gonna keep you going, keep your energy high, um, especially because you're burning so much. Um, you want to replace all those electrolytes. So either water or um, Gatorade, I would say. All right. So what about clothing and shoes wise? What would you bring to a hiking? Um, honestly, it's whatever you're comfortable in. Um, I don't suggest. I don't suggest bringing jeans or some high heels. I don't think that's going to be the best look for you. So what if you meet somebody? If you meet somebody, then you better shunt your stuff what you got on. <laughs> um, so definitely tennis shoes, hiking shoes for extra grip. I don't have hiking shoes, but I plan on getting some. Um, so, wait, if it's, so these aren't hiking shoes? Those aren't hiking shoes. And neither are these. These are just outside shoes. Okay. Um, but definitely some, you know, uh, workout pants, stretchy pants. A loose shirt, tight shirt if you want, whatever you are comfortable in. But yeah, me personally, I like to wear pants, tennis shoes, and a top. How often do you think hiking should be into your like daily life? Oh, um, that's a good question. I would say if you can, um, at least to, uh, one to two times a week. Um, so since I'm on summer break right now, I'm going to start incorporating hiking into my um daily not daily weekly uh, workout schedule at least once a week um, every other Monday Tuesday Wednesday whatever every other day of the week 
um, you either find me at the gym or you'll find me um, at a local park trying to get that workout in so just want to make sure you get moving at least minimum 30 minutes a day all right do you prefer gym like in gym workouts or like outside workouts like on top? um to be honest like completely honest you don't really need um a gym membership to get a workout in so personally i like to work out outside but if you're trying to do like certain exercise if you're trying to tone your back or um you know grow more muscle lift heavier weights then um you can get a gym membership so like that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to also get lean and um, build more muscle so i do have a gym membership um but personally i prefer outside um, workouts so that's mainly what my youtube channel is um i don't you don't you won't really find any videos of me uh working out in the gym um just because when i get to the gym i just want to get my workout in and get it done i don't really want to take the time to record but um, I mostly record outside workouts. And there's many of these people like inside the gym looking at you like. Yeah, exactly. And then there's like specific laws. I think in some gyms where like you can't record other people, so like privacy laws. So that becomes difficult too. Like little workouts, would you put during your hike? Oh, definitely. Maybe some jump squats, um, some jumping jacks, regular squatting, lunges if you can. Uh, maybe some butt kickers. Butt kickers, where are those? Butt kickers are these. So you're oh, okay. high knees and you're kicking your butt all the way. Mm -hmm. So just to, especially if you want to warm up your legs so you can do that before your hike as well. Or sometimes I'll do my little exercises um, once I get to the top of my hike. Right. Yeah. What's your favorite type of like workout exercises? Um, I love the booty and the glute exercises, of course. I feel like every other person in the world right now is trying to grow their booty. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's definitely some good uh, booty exercises and glute exercises that I can show you guys um, when we get at the bottom. Um, definitely some hip thrusts. Those are like really good to grow the booty. Um, and that one, you can find that on my channel as well, some hip thrusts. We can't do it outside because you need a bench. Um, or like a mat to lay on to do it uh, but I can definitely show you guys that so I'm pretty sure they'll be able to see all of that on your YouTube channel correct? yes yes if you so. see my YouTube channel you can find all these exercises on my page um, for extra you know helpful hints workout tips you can definitely find that on my page yes and then on your YouTube channel it's just not you it's also your friend oh yeah it's me and my friend so the JB underscore Odie that's my um, friend that I met in college and this summer we're just trying to motivate people to get moving um, that's why we're not really filming at the gym we're filming outside because we're trying to um, promote that you don't need a gym membership or need to work out in the gym you just got to get outside and get moving and use what's around you so. You can use anything as a workout. Exactly. Friend, right? Exactly. Yes. Like so this water bottle. Like fill it up with water and it's a shake weight. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. That's a good idea. But even like now, a lot of the parks have those uh, built-in um, oh, like little workout, workout machines. Things? Yeah. So it's like, who needs a gym anymore? It's true. Like we're not trying to. Like she's not trying to hate on the gyms. Right? Yeah. No. No. It's I mean, like, I have a gym membership, so I'm exactly. not trying to hate on it. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of people can't afford a monthly payment of what there, 25 bucks. Or they're never really so committed, or their schedule is always so busy. Exactly. So it's always like, oh, I can't go to the gym today, and like you're over here wasting like. Yeah. money like monthly money on it yeah so it's always good to go for a quick run like around your neighborhood around the block yeah exactly and even if it's like the weather's bad outside because people use that excuse like oh what mm -hmm. if it's raining or snowing wherever you live mm -hmm. um definitely you can do in-home workouts too exactly so you also find those at, on my page and my channel um mm -hmm. in-home workouts all right yeah. So if you're really looking to drop some pounds you want to get that fasted cardio i would say at least three to four times a week um, wake up early if you got school if you got work wake up before if you're really dedicated and motivated to drop some and shred some pounds <laughs> Is your phone? Um, yeah. If you want to drop and shred some pounds um, Do that fast and cardio wake up early and go for 30 minutes in a um, high interval uh, Intensity interval training so 30 minutes running 30 minutes walking 30 minutes sprinting 30 minutes walking um, That'll really burn some fat um, Drink a lot of water can't stress that enough a lot a lot of water so um i think that the daily recommended amount is like 64 or i don't i don't really know but just drink a lot of water it's not gonna go distract yeah. <laughs> um i think that's about it so drink a lot of water fast cardio um 
try to oh, try to stay away from uh, fast food as much as you can. Um, we're going this way. <laughs> um, and you also on my page you'll find other helpful um, healthy foods that you can eat. So I'm gonna post how to make a chocolate protein shake later on today. Uh, protein pancakes, those are good too. So you'll find workouts and healthy foods on my page as well. All right. So again, you guys, everything, all of this of the interview should be on her channel. It'll be on my channel. Exactly. But if you guys want to see, uh, I do monthly. No, well, not monthly, but I do vlogs. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I do vlogs, so go check that out. It's always like trying out different things and whatnot. It could be health fitness, it could be me doing crazy things and whatnot. So, like smoking weed, doing your eyebrows. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Always adventurous things. So, if you guys want to see more things, check out my channel. If you guys want to know more about fitness, anything like you could put into your life that will make everything much easier, check yeah, out JB's channel. channel and just always subscribe and likes and share some love. Yep. All right, and thanks for watching. Bye.